Dude, send dude dates. Welcome to my first dino evening. There's going to be a lot of under my breath swearing because uh, YouTube doesn't like it when you swear like I like to. You know, flat out. Anyway, I was always wondering what sort of efficiency these models have if you take it the weight of the loco um, compared to uh, the pull on the drawbar how much what's the percentage you know how much of this goes to the drawbar um, you know the weight so I've weighed this this afternoon and it weighed exactly 4.8 kgs all right sorry for the american and english and whatever this is all going to be kgs and centimeters and stuff so what i did was i weighed it 4.8 kgs the wheelbase center to center on the first axles per bogey is uh, 350 millimeter all right i think that's important because I've seen stuff at the club that doesn't make sense to me. We'll speak about that later and you can tell me what you think. Because I still don't understand it. And then we're going to check the current draw. Which you will have to trust me to do. Because I can't show you all these meters and stuff. whatever. Current draw at maximum. And that's with the spoker on and the lights. And then one without the spoker and without the lights, without sound everything off and we'll see if there's a difference on the drawbar pull or not we're going to do six um pulls three of them with everything on we'll get an average and then three with everything off see if there's a different get an average and then that will give us our figures that go on to the book of shame now every train will get one of these they will be put up a la top gear on the back wall there so then we can see how these things perform um all right now this specific sd70 is the usa trains one this was the loco that actually in the beginning <coughs> made me decide to go with the usa train blocks let me just take you out a bit and uh you know, I put a XL5 ESU decoder in it, and I did dynamic smoke. It was my first attempt, and I practiced a lot of stuff on this logo. So it's, it's pretty close to my heart. All right, so let's start this thing up. We're going to do with full sound and smoke for now. I want to tell you that as it stands here, it does 0 0.041 amp with nothing on. Then when we hit the sound. So keep in mind, <clears throat> we're going to run them, but I'm going to hit it with a stop button because I don't want to put too much strain on my motor blocks. I don't want to stuff every, anything up. These things all have um, acceleration brake delays on them. So by the time I turn that throttle down, that motor block will keep on turning. It's not good for them. You know, you're burning brushes and it's just crap. So we're just going to do a quick run. See what it does, and that be the end of that. All right, so I'm going to pull it in closer so you can see that. Okay, so we switch this on. All right, and I'm going to go full ball and check what she does. Full ball, I mean I'm going to go up to about speed step, and I'm just going to turn the knob, and we see what it does. 
Are you ready? Right, I saw a 1205 there. Let's run with that. First pull, 1205. The amps, 2.45 amp. Current draw, full smoke and lights. Okay, so this was 1.0 kg. Amps, yeah. 2.45 amp. Right. So, yes, let's close it down again. Now what I want to do is pull her off slower and see if that doesn't make any kind of difference. Let's just bring it back and get that more or less to naught, okay? Right, so now we're going to run it at... Uh, Speed step five, half of where we were, and I'm gonna go slowly on the throttle and see if we can't get more pull without breaking traction. Let's wait for it to stop up. Right, okay, so, speed step five. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. 1.3, 1,300 flat. Current was the same, 2.55 and. Right, we do another one, the third one. Third one we do. Flat out, full taps, maximum speed step, one million or whatever. And we see what some max is, what she can give us. Um, let's just give it a little close to north as we can. Even my hand on the table. All right, I'm going to pull this up to maximum. Summer now before I hit the stop button and then we check what it does because this is now from zero to full power. All right, there we go. You see what happens here is when you break traction immediately out the blocks, it actually pulls less than when you ease into it, it looks like. All right, so now we're going to take the sound. 
and the smoke off. We gotta bring her back to naught. Okay. We're gonna bring that back to as close to naught as we can. Eh, that was spot on. Right, let's do it. We go to speed step 10 in the middle. And we pull off from a dead standstill. All right. You will hear the motor blocks moan now. Let's see what it does. Speed step 10. I don't understand why it does that. Okay, that I don't understand. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to redo this one. That doesn't make sense. That without any amps on it, that it, it reads like that. Hey, this can't be, man. Come on. <laughs> Minus 50 amps, we'll just add it. Let's just clear it, man. That should do it. All right, so I'm going to try this again. Okay, quicker this time. Nail it right up to 10 straight away. And we see what happens. Now it goes the wrong way. That's better. One two two five, one two forty, two sixty, one twelve sixty. Right, twelve sixty. One point two six oh. Cut and draw two point two point zero eight. Two point zero eight. So there's uh, 450 milliamp in that smoke, eh? All right, let's give it another one. It should do it. I'm going to go full throttle out the blocks and we see where we go. All right. Are you ready? Food taps. This is biting one three eighty. Three forty. All right. One three eighty was the highest I saw. In the last one, See, it's 80 more than the previous time. But you know what? Eh? That can be just. I don't think there's a massive difference with everything off, because the controller pushes six amps, and we don't. We're not even getting close to that. So I don't think that the smoker and the lights and everything makes a hell of a difference. Um, I don't think so. Now um, I'm gonna go all the way down. Pull her up to maximum speed steps out the blocks. We pull this back a bit so we get close to north. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Let's just zero it in any case. This thing's very sensitive. 
All right. Flat taps. Hit the stop button. Let her rip. Now you see it loses traction out the blocks. Ten, twenty-seven, thirty, forty, one, three, forty, three, fifty. Let's kill it. So one, three, fifty. It's got the same thirty less than the previous one. Yeah, if it loses traction, now that makes sense. Makes sense. Right. 2.07 amp and that one is 2.12 the amps are pretty much straight off the bat they pretty consistent all right boy so that's that now in the comments i will not in the comments in the description I will go do my sums now and then we'll get a figure which I will write big and black underneath on the on a sheet what was its efficiency draw ball pool to loco weight if I look at it quickly like this it looks like about 32 34 I'm not that smart 34 percent somewhere there all right, um, that's basically that thing. That was the first dyno. Boom, boom, done. Now what's going to happen in future is all the new locos will now be put on and we'll get everyone will get a dyno figure for. I promise that I won't change mine. Because I know some of them, like the 34GE, the old one, only weighed like 4kgs. So it's much lighter than this. It will have much less drawbar pull. I always pull them in pairs. And if there's two of them, nothing stops them. All right. So it would be interesting to see um, what they do. You know, these here, that, that, those there. Um, this one, the GE, the one in the middle, actually uh, weighs 4.2 kgs. That one there, I think, was 5.6 or 6.5. That was heavier. Um, that was up to when I built the one for Ati. That was the champ, the red G, uh, GM. There's a blue GM in the store that couldn't pull with this one. Very, very slight, but there was a different um, difference between the two. Um, I will speak about the wheelbase thing later. We're going to do a test with the wheelbases. I've got a funny feeling that that's going to be a very interesting one. That the wheelbase also has something to do with the pulling power. Um, the guy said there's no ways, but I reckon there is. I reckon there is. The shorter they are, the harder they pull. It's just one of those things. All right. Um, good, Jelle. I'm going to go. Then we speak later. Okay, okies. Tot ziens.